When the weather is bleak, there's no better time to tell grim stories. And that's exactly what the local medieval society weekend, utilising the shortest day in midwinter to perform fables by the Brothers Grimm. And like the historic storytellers, the delivery of their work was old school. Well, this is our annual medieval midwinter event, and we're doing a series of Brothers Grimm stories told through different styles of puppetry, glove puppetry, shadow puppetry, and giant puppets as well. It was the Society's first time performing Brothers Grimm stories, although members have put on puppet shows before. Quaid says the Brothers Grimm tales were easy to adapt for they have strong narratives and dark undercurrents, and the combination proved popular. We've had two sold-out shows, and um, I think we could probably perform it again if we wanted to, so yes, there has been a lot of interest, yes. There's no digital animation or fancy sound effects. Viewers don't get to shoot baddies or lead giant armies into battle, but Quayan says puppets are awesome for a whole lot of reasons. Well, they appeal to a very wide range of ages, as you can see today. We've had little children through to elderly people. Um, they're great fun to make and to perform with. They allow you to explore different sides of yourself than you would through normal acting. Um, and they've been around for thousands of years. So, Almost 20 performers were involved, including some local university students and musicians. And given the high demand for tickets, Perhaps there will be more society members to perform on next year's Darkest Day. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News. And now recapping tonight's top.